Hi, I'm Kathy, and today I'm sharing my favorites for the month of May. Hi friends, it's been a while since I have made a video, but I just wanted to come on today and share some of the favorites that I've been using from things that I already own. I have purchased a few things in the last two months and I'm gonna share them with you. But before I get started, uh, I just needed to take a little break from YouTube with everything going on in the world and uh, I'm back, I'm feeling refreshed and you will uh, be seeing me on a regular basis again. For my favorites, I wanted to share things that I use every day and absolutely love. So I'm going to start with some skincare and the first thing that I have been loving is my skin. I don't know if you can see how clear it is. I'm not wearing any makeup. I just have some mascara, lip gloss on, and some uh, eyebrow. The rest is just my natural skin, and I absolutely love how it's changed since I started using the medical grade skincare uh, that I've talked about before five months ago. And I will be doing an updated video on my skincare in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. And one of the products that I think that's really made a difference for my skin, well, actually I have two. The first one is their hydrating toner. I love this stuff. I have oily skin, but I feel in the last, say, year and a half, two years, my skin feels very tight and dehydrated. And I've used all sorts of different toners because toners are my favorite step when it comes to skincare. Just because having had oily skin, my, it, it was just a way for my skin to feel fresh and clean. When I use the hydrating toner, uh, I actually feel it being sucked into my skin and my skin just instantly feels hydrated and moist. And I love it. I love that it has a little uh, pump applicator. So you just put your little cotton pad on there, a couple of pumps, and you just set it on your skin. And seriously, you just actually feel it being sucked into your skin. Now in Canada, when you buy medical grade skincare, you have to buy it from a dermatologist or a Medispa, but I know in the US you can buy this online at Nordstrom. And I will link all of my products below in case you want more information. And another product that I love from them, and this is my second bottle. A bottle lasts me about three months and it's their Total Strength Serum. And I use this twice a day and it has collagen and uh, growth hormones in it and i just absolutely love how it feels on my skin as well it gets absorbed into the skin i know lots of times when you use serums like your skin will feel tacky or sticky that's not the case with this and i highly recommend it another favorite skincare product that i like to use for hydration i've used it many times in the past and i bought this during the sephora sale this is the large bottle and it's by caudalie and it's their grape water I love this. Anytime that my skin is, uh, I just want to pick me up. Even if you know, you're know you hot because it's been really hot and humid here, just give my face a quick sp spritz and uh, it's wonderful. So I really, really recommend the Caudalie Grape Water. And for body care, I've talked about this before in uh, monthly favorites. And this time I went out and I bought the grand size and it is by Corez, and it is their olive oil body wash. A little bit of this goes a long way on one of those loofah sponges, and it really absorbs into the skin and it's hydrating. And I, I do believe that my skin, my body skin is uh, a lot more moisturized now since I've been using this. I got this on the shopping channel. Occasionally they will have this as a showstopper, uh, but I also have the smaller bottles that I bought at Sephora. So I just wanted to sh uh, share this with you. This scent is the Honeysuckle, and uh, it's just a very light scent. Like, I don't find it overpowering at all. Sticking with skincare, I've fallen in love with an old favorite, and that is my Clarisonic Mia. I haven't been wearing any makeup the past probably three months uh, that we've been in lockdown. I love washing my face. I had gotten away from the Clarisonic. I recently started using it again, and it reminded me why I first fell in love with my Clarisonic. It really does a great job at cleaning. I feel like my pores have been deeply cleaned. The only thing that I don't like about this is the expensive brush replacement heads. Uh, they are pretty pricey, but I don't use this every day, so I guess um, the brush will end up lasting me a little bit longer than if I use it twice a day. But I do really like how uh, clean this does get my skin. And I just love the pink color. It just makes me happy when I look at it. 
And you know I cannot go through a favorites video without sharing my favorite perfume. It's Joy by Dior. Love this stuff. You know how much I love it. And I just wanted to mention it today in case you were new here. I love the Dior perfumes and I will link a perfume video that I did I think about a month ago. And I just talk about my favorite perfumes that I own. It's a lovely, lovely bottle and uh, I love the magnetic top. It just, it's cute and it looks beautiful sitting on my dresser. This is a very nice light scent and I wear it year round, but if you're looking for like a light spring summer scent, highly recommend this one. It's not overpowering. However, the scent lingers for many, many hours. I squirt this on in the morning and I can still smell it uh, 10, 10 hours later whenever I take my shower at night. I've really been having a problem lately with dry lips and I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, I used to love the Dior lip balm. It was in that white pot, but I guess it's been discontinued. So I, I bought this, it's by Bobbi Brown. It's her lip balm and it has an SPF of 15 in it. It's in a pot and every night before I go to bed, I always moisturize my arms, my neck and my lips. Um, obviously, I only use this on my lips. It's really hydrating. It's, um, it lasts a long time on my lips, not as long as the one by Dior did, but uh, I do find that it's made a difference and my lips feel, I guess, a little more moist or not so dry. The one downside that I don't like about this product and really about any product is how it is dispensed. I just wish that uh, there you know, was another way that uh, they could package it because I just think it's a bit gross, you know, having to stick your finger in there every day, even though like I'm the only one using it. But I just, I, um, I just, I guess I would be happier if they could put it in a tube or some sort of a dispensing thing where you could just brush it on the lips. And speaking of lips, I uh, love these lip balms. I'm wearing one today, but I wanted to show you all three that I have. I think this is the one that I'm wearing. It's just a clear. I carry this one in my purse just um, so I can put some on whenever I'm out. Not that we go out a whole lot these days, but this is another color that I have. I believe this is raspberry, but I will link it below. And this other one is a really nice color for summer. Actually, this might be raspberry and the other one might be plum, but I will link the three of them below the three colors. Love them. So now let's talk hair. <laughs> I haven't had a haircut since I think February 15th. It's the longest I have ever went without a haircut. You can see how long my hair is and I'm finally getting to know what my natural color is because I have a light to a little streak of gray there. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about was, I just wanted to talk about this aqueous hair turban. Because I have short hair normally, I really didn't use a hair turban because I could dry my hair in probably two, three minutes with my Dyson. But now that my hair is a little bit longer, what I like to do is when I get out of the shower, I put this on my head. It has a nice fastening device here. You just put that over the button and then I'll just like scrunch my hair and I'll let my hair dry. If I don't feel like drying my hair because like I said, it's been really hot and muggy here, I'll just put that on for about an hour and then I'll take it off and I'll just scrunch my hair and let my hair air dry because I'm not going anywhere anyways. But I just wanted to mention that because this really does absorb the moisture out of um, my hair whenever I get out of the shower. And I was really surprised because um, I had never used one up until, well, recently because of my hair length. And another thing that I wanted to share is a piece of clothing. And this is a nightgown. Now I'm not gonna be able to show the whole thing, but I'll try and insert a picture if I can. It's a long nightgown on me. I'm five foot four, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure how long it's supposed to be. But again, I bought this on the shopping channel and I'll see if I can find it elsewhere for you. It's sleeveless and it's just such a pretty print, I thought, for summer. It's kind of like a blue lavender color and then it has these tiny little flowers. And I should know what they're called, but I can't think of them at the moment. But I just, it's so pretty. And I bought it because we had planned on going to Hawaii, but that went out the window with COVID. 
and I just saw this and I thought, I like to wear a nightgown in the summertime. This just made me think of Hawaii, so if I can't go to Hawaii, Hawaii can come to me. And we have to find uh, pleasures and simple things now that uh, we're dealing with this pandemic. And I just wanted to share this because I thought it was so pretty. And I have washed it and I have thrown it in the dryer even though they say not to. And it washes really nicely. And I do have, I think, three other pairs of pajamas from uh, N Notori. They sell them on the shopping channel. I believe they're also at Nordstrom. And I'm really, really pleased with them. They're very nice. Um, I like that this is long because uh, if I want to get, say, take a shower early and get in my Nike on our pajamas, and if somebody was to come to the door, it almost looks like a maxi dress. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it doesn't look like I'm in pajamas, even though I am. And now that the air conditioning is on, what I like to do is put my Barefoot Dreams cardigan on over this because we like to watch TV in the basement where it's a little cooler and it just makes me feel snugly. And I love that Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I've talked about that many, many times in the past. And on my feet, I always wear, no matter what season of the year, they're on my feet, 365 days. It's my UGG slippers. I will put a picture above, they're on my feet right now. Love, love, love them. I know they're expensive. My first pair lasted me eight years and I still have them. I was supposed to throw them out, but I didn't. And I, the reason why is I use them when I go outside. Um, because I love them. They're comfortable and the sole is really, uh, it holds up very well. So just wanted to mention that. And another thing that I wanted to mention, I don't know if you notice this sparkly little bracelet. I've been doing a lot of organizing and going through drawers and closets and I had forgot I had this bracelet. It looks expensive, but it's not. It's by Stella and Dot. I love sparkly things and I have a big wrist. My wrist is about seven inches around and I have very big bones. This is a coil bracelet and you just, oops, and to put it on, you just wrap it around your wrist like that and uh, you can stack it. I just think it looks pretty and I'm gonna wear it every day even if I'm stuck in the house because I think it's a, it is important to still um, you know, do things for yourself that make you feel happy or pretty or whatever. And I just like to look down at my wrist and see the sparkles. It just uh, brings me peace. Another thing that I have absolutely been loving, and this is actually the second pair that I had bought. The first pair I had to throw out last year. They had lasted me, my gosh, probably eight years. They traveled around the world with me and I wear them every day. Um, like once we get warm weather until October and that is a pair of sandals by Mephisto and the um, the model is called Helen and I have them in dark brown. Uh, I like that the um, the strap is adjustable because I do have a wide foot and I have a high arch. All I have to do is move the buckle to close to the end and it fits comfortably and I like them because they have some arch support and if you suffer with plantar fasciitis which I have had in the past and it's painful uh, this sandal really fits my foot like a glove and it um, it gives support where my foot needs it because I have very flat feet and they are very comfortable. A few months ago, a company reached out to me and asked if they could send me a pair of shoes for review. And I said, yes, I would, I would do that, but I only uh, give honest reviews. And if I don't like them, I'm not gonna talk about them because I don't believe in um, bashing products, like just because I don't like something that's fine, it doesn't mean you won't. If I find a product that I like and I'm going to use and I think that you might like it, then I just wanna share it with you. I'm not getting paid. They did give me a $10 off coupon code that I will link below. That's to save you money. I don't get any kickback from it. But I wanted to share these with you because these shoes are right up my alley. And they're by the company Empress Australia. They came packaged like this, and I just love the presentation. I love that they come in this little individual bag. And what it is, is a black flat shoe. These are so comfortable and they're so cute. Why I was drawn to these was most of my shoes are black. Like my purses are mostly black, but I don't wear heels. I like a nice flat. And I really thought 
that this would be a great travel shoe because I see myself wearing this with shorts, capris, you could even wear it with a nice um, long maxi dress. It's so versatile and I have to tell you, they really truly are comfortable. The quality of the leather, it's just wonderful. It's a really soft leather. The sole is very um, thick and durable. These shoes are really, really comfortable. I wear a size 10. Um, like I said, these will be perfect for travel whenever we are allowed to travel again, but I wanted to share these with you and I do believe they come in a neutral color as well, but I will link the website below. Like I said, they have offered a $10 coupon off for you. There's absolutely, um, I don't make anything off of it, but I just wanted to share them with you because they really are um, nice shoes and there's the other one. And it's just, it's a really nice company. So if you want more information on that, uh, check out the link below. And I would also like to recommend a, um, a TV show we've been binge watching on Netflix. We never watched it when it first came out and it's Scandal. It stars Carrie Washington and we have been glued to the TV since episode one. She's a Washington lawyer fixer. Oh my gosh, every episode just has you hanging on the edge of your seat. I love it and I'm gonna be so sad when we have burned our way through all seven seasons. I think we're about two thirds of the way through season three and it, I've just fallen in love with all the characters. I mean, there's characters you really love and there's characters you really hate and you want them gone but you don't want them gone because they add so much to the show and it's just, it's like, this is the same lady Chandra Rhimes that wrote How to Get Away with Murder and I believe Grey's Anatomy, which I never watched, but it's on my to watch list now. Uh, this lady, she's such a good storyteller. And if you, uh, if you like politics, lots of twists and turns, uh, I just thought I'd mention Scandal to you. So those are my favorites for May. I can't believe we're going into June. Uh, it's been a crazy year, but it's going by fast. I can't wait till I can get my hair cut. Um, it's crazy how fast it grows, but I've missed you all. And I just wanted you to know that even though I, uh, I wasn't making videos, I was still thinking of you all. And I think sometimes we just need um, to get a little break from YouTube and with things going on, it, it's really been a rough time um, in our country, not just with the pandemic, but there's been a lot of, um, I don't know, like sad things going on, especially for uh, in Nova Scotia. And uh, I just, I, my heart wasn't into making videos, but uh, I'm hoping to get out of that rut. And I just wanted to thank you for sticking with me and uh, I'll do my very best to, uh, to, make new, to make a new video every week. So I hope that you and yours are staying safe and healthy and I would love it if you subscribed. And that's all I have for you today. So have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye.